Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broke in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight Spend this time in your head With every star A few hours later. Okay, guys, just got back from the thrift store. Um, I've only been living here for about five five months, and this is actually only the second time that I've actually gone out thrifting. And the crazy thing is, both times I've actually gone out, I found like really good stuff. So this is something I definitely need to be doing more. Um, and actually, I think I'm gonna make this more of uh, an ongoing series because uh, I did. If you've watched my earlier videos, I had a video titled "Thrifting for Streetwear." Uh, and I had no intention of making that a series, but I kind of like the idea. So I think I'm going to name this video Thrifting for Streetwear Part 2. So without further ado, let's get into what I found. I'm going to go from worst to best. The first one, I, I don't know. There might be some differing opinions on this, but let's get into it. So I'm a big advocate, if you've seen my older videos, for wearing clothes um, that still have, like, you know, that streetwear aesthetic, but have actual things that you like. So for this first, first, uh, this first t-shirt, I know I said I was getting away from black t-shirts, but we got a black t-shirt. And this is actually... And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. The thing I like about it is it's a Demon Slayer t-shirt. Um, so, the thing with anime t-shirts is you gotta be really careful. Because anime t-shirts can be super cringe. And this one's borderline. Well, uh, let me go over the things I like about it. So if you look at the graphic, I gotta make sure this doesn't focus on my eye. But if you look at the graphic, um, obviously this isn't a vintage shirt. The show's only been out for a few years now. Uh, but it, the, the pattern has that nice distressing on it. And even like the black, might just because it's a cheaper shirt, but it's got that nice fading, which I really like. The only thing that I didn't even realize is, because if you watch the show, you understand, but my girlfriend saw this shirt, and Nezuko here, the girl, she's got this, like, gag in her mouth. That's so, what she said. <laughs> if you watch the show, you understand that, uh, why she has that, but I guess if you don't, it does look a bit weird. It's definitely nothing crazy, but I like the show. I like the style of the shirt. Let's move on. So for my, my next find, this is definitely something that my wardrobe really needs to improve on, and that is pants. Um, so I started to be a bit more adventurous uh, with the thrift store. That's looking at pants. So I found these. These are going to be kind of hard to show, but I'll have some full body shots. Um, Damn, go! What you saying? What you saying, huh? Mm. <laughs> yeah. These are. That's it. The funny thing with these pants is I don't think they really know what they want to be because uh, it's almost a cargo pant. It's got this uh, heavy duty canvas material. I'm pretty sure it is a like a work pant. The brand, you can, I'm not even sure if you can see that there, it says Aggressor. And it just kind of seems as more of like a Carhartt kind of vibe. But when I say that it doesn't know what it wants to be, what I'm talking about is these little side pockets. They're very, they're very cute. Like <laughs> they're not a, they're not a full-on cargo pant pocket because they're so slim. But I'm gonna—I haven't even tried these on yet, so I don't know if they'll fit. And that's why them, I'm ranking these as my second favorite. I love the color. I love the material. They're a bit baggier, all the way down to the bottom. Um, so I'm trying to get more into baggier pants. 15 bucks. We got this vintage crew neck sweater. Um, I really love the color. <laughs> Again, we got. Black t-shirts, green sweaters. As you can see, this is the one I was talking about in the intro. But the thing I really liked about this one, first of all, the tag, I really love that tag. Um, I don't know if there's a, a date on there or not, no. But it's very, very heavy. Um, and it's also got this nice embroidery on the front there. It says Central Park 
Racket and Athletic Club. I don't know, I've been, I've been to New York, I've been to Central Park, so I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but honestly, I just like the fit of it. Um, it is, it's a large, I would say it fits more like a bigger medium. It doesn't feel quite like a large, but I really love the color and I think this will look really good with the pants. And my final purchase, and probably my favorite, um, this one, there's things I don't like about this, but there, most of this I do like. So this is a hoodie. And first, the, the first thing that caught my mind of with this is the actual um, construction of it, the details. So you can see in the hood, it's kind of got this three panel thing going on. So I really like that nice big hood. Um, and it's got these little, like, you know, this little attention to detail kind of thing. It's got these little, I don't even call these, uh, little drawstring kind of things. Um, and then the front, we got the the little logo hit there. It's upside down, but it's a lab. I looked it up. It's like a, or it says on the back here, it's a New Zealand company. But the thing that immediately caught my attention was actually the, uh, the back graphic to the hoodie. So you can kind of immediately, if you look at it, it's got this big Helvetica print. Um, it becomes pretty obvious what they were going for. They were definitely going for like a Fear of God Essentials kind of look, um, which is, you know, it's definitely an overplayed um, design, but I still like it. The only thing, well, there's two things I don't like about this. Starting with the back graphic, I feel like this would have been great with the name Performance Supply. I find the whole coordinates and longitude and lag latitude, longitude, lat whatever it is, it's a bit, it's a bit corny in my mind, and it ends up just being a whole bunch of numbers on your back. Um, like it's, it's a cool idea, but it's not my favorite. But, and at the very bottom, you can kind of see it's got the uh, New Zealand hit there. So, like it's a very well-made hoodie. Um, the only, the other thing that I don't really like, but this is a very easy thing to fix, is on the actual kangaroo pouch. You can see it a little bit there. They got these little pink, I gotta get my eye out of this, these little pink accents, which that's easy enough. You know, you can easily, you can easily just take that off. But I find the pink is trying a little bit too hard. Um, there's a bit more, another little graphic down in the bottom of the pouch. But honestly, like it's a very well-made hoodie. It's very comfortable. It's an extra large. And honestly, for $10, I think this is a very good Fear of God Essentials uh, replacement. And in my mind, I love the Fear of God Essentials hoodie, um, but I see it everywhere. I think it's getting a little bit outplayed. So for 10 bucks, I was very happy with this. This is my number one purchase of the day. But yeah, it was really fun to go out thrifting again. It's been too long. Um, and man, fashion is such a passion of mine that I had this idea for this YouTube channel that I'd do more like fitness and motivational stuff. And I still am gonna do that. But I don't think I can completely sideline fashion just because I love it so much, especially if I do want to create my own clothing. Uh, I just, I love the environment so much. So what I'll probably do is like put out a fashion video and then the next week do, you know, like a fitness or something motivational, something like that, you know? But I love it too much to give it up. And I think the thrifting for streetwear little series would be a great way to do that. But yeah, guys, those are the pickups for today. Very happy with what I found. Uh, it's always a reminder that I need to just do it more, which is what I wanna do. So if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know down below. Um, either way, I will make more. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to see more, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it all. And guys, I'll catch you next week. See ya.